I stay out too late Got nothing in my brain That's what people say mm -hmm. That's what people say mm -hmm. I just keep cruising Can't stop, won't stop moving It's like I got this music In my mind saying it's gonna be alright Cause this is the part when I say I don't want ya I'm stronger than I've been before This is the part when I break free Cause you're gone and I gotta stay high I'm lightning on my feet And that's what they don't see That's what they don't see Cause this is the part when I say I don't want ya I'm stronger than I've been before This is the part when I break free Cause you're gone and I gotta stay high Yo, what is going on, guys? Episode number 24 of the Deka Street is back after another two-week delay, and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to make a video on on my whole YouTube just this year, I guess you could say, maybe the future of my channel as well. I'm not quitting, but I want to just explain why this channel and the series and just in general everything that's been going on, and I feel bad, honestly, because... I do want to keep these active, and I do want to make these, like, three, maybe two episodes a week, which would have been nice, but I've been getting to the point where I make one, and then I'll take a two-week break, and I, I hate that, because I understand as a series, if you guys really enjoy it and want to keep up with it, it's frustrating watching an episode and then be like, okay, gotta wait, like, 20 days till he uploads the next episode, and they'll get bored and then maybe even forget about it and not come back to it, so I understand that it's frustrating, and I really, really apologize for that. I'll make a video talking about why, but... For the brief understanding, or well, the brief explanation right now, is that I haven't had the most motivation for this game, and it's been many factors, and this year's been a little bit more busier in terms of senior year, I've been hanging out with my friends more, my girlfriend, and all this stuff like that, but I've still had free time, and I just haven't, like, NHL is not the number one thing that pops into my mind when I have free time anymore, it was last year, I loved working the market, I loved making videos, I loved playing the game, this year... The market's, uh it's messy in my opinion, it's slow, the game is, I don't know, and I think the game's a bit more clumsy, but the graphics are better, this and that, like the whole, n not, I don't feel completely in control with deking anymore, like the skill stick and stuff like that, again, this is months and months old, so most people get used to it, but for me, I still didn't really get used to it, I got NHL 15 on the 360, and I feel, still feel like I like that better, but again, this year's definitely been a fun year, just... For me, it's been a huge drop, and since the game dropped off, my motivation for YouTube dropped off as well as less time, but I do apologize for that, and NHL 16, I promise I will start out with a bang, and hopefully finish NHL 15 with a bang by just getting videos out there, but I really want to know some suggestions on what I should upload, because I do want to come back to YouTube, it's not like I just, like, I hate YouTube or I hate NHL, I do want to come back, it's just, I lost motivation, and I'm not going to be playing OTP for, uh, on Xbox One, because in my opinion, that's not very good. The GM mode is meh. I was trying to get a series for that, but I didn't really enjoy it. Again, that was a nice goal right there if you guys saw that. Obviously, if you have eyes, you've probably seen that, but the GM mode, I played it offline, and I was like, I don't know how much fun I'll have with this, nor I don't know how much you guys will enjoy it, so that series kind of got cancelled, but maybe i'll try bringing it if you guys want to see it i don't know how much you'll like it i didn't actually get to do the draft the reason why i was delayed is because i was waiting for the draft and then two weeks later it came out and i don't know i just wasn't playing nhl at that time so that is why the gm series did not come out and after that i don't know what to upload like pack openings i would love to do them or well, more often and i actually want to do live commentary pack openings because i know people always say that so i will start doing those but i don't have coins now and 
depends when this video came out, but I'm doing a trade day, basically trading my whole team to get the coins, and I'll try to do some live commentary pack openings for Team of the Year players, so maybe that'll be somewhat exciting, something different. I think I've only done one or two live commentaries for pack openings, and in general, I haven't done many of them, because I like to edit my videos and shorten it down and stuff like that, so therefore, I can't really do live commentaries, and... When I do my commentaries, it's at night, usually after I've played all my games. So that's why I don't really do many live commentaries on my channel. But I've been thinking of doing wagers and more live commentary pack openings for this channel, as well as trying to keep up with the Deka Street, but not really sure how that's going to last. So if you guys have any other suggestions for series, please leave it in the comment section below. And five minutes and like whatever seconds, 30 seconds later, we're going to talk about the Deka Street. So this is episode number 24 of the Deka Street. And it starts off with a bang right there with the commentary that Cole goes in to tie the game at 4-4. Not a really good goal, but Bure comes in, goes to the backhand. Obviously, that's going to be an easy goal 95% of the time. So, there's the backhand goal that you guys always love commenting about. I'm sorry again about that, but that's just my way to win games. It's 3-1. I've scored other goals as well, but when you get a breakaway, the backhand is usually the go-to move. Most people use it. 90% of people use it. All the top-end players use it. So, there's my backhand goal for this episode to win in overtime we go against this guy who has carry price so i was a bit nervous played a lot of montreal people in this episode with the logo i think like three or four people in like six games or so right now maybe more i don't even remember but i know the first two games were against montreal people now this one we go up with a pretty nice goal to make it one nothing he takes a long slap shot like he delayed for a while and it just goes in so an all right goal from him <clears throat> to tie the game and Duchesne with some nice moves he gets the puck, gets on the breakaway, and hey, that's another backhand, I believe. And that would be a 2-1 game for us. Bad shot by him, but he gets this puck on the net. Terrible turnover by me. Kind of lagging. Markov slap shot deflected by someone. I think it was my own player, to be honest. This game was just laggy. like Not like constant lag, but like it would be fine, and then just bam, lag. And it was very frustrating, but... Kessler with a really, really good forecheck, and I don't know what happens. I think I literally tried passing it to Patrick Kane, and I mean, I guess pass was the new shoot button in this game, and it goes five hole and wins the game for me. So Kessler, I I, I mean, great effort right there by the forecheck to get the puck. He gets the hit, gets the puck somehow. I don't know how he actually got that because the other guy, well, the, the, the other guy, obviously, his player was right there, but he didn't even go for it, and we go 4-1 and one in Division 2. Looking good to get to Division 1, and this guy he probably was really mad after that goal. This game, I don't even know what happened to my capture card. It was messed up beyond anything. It was cutting out, wasn't playing anything. I didn't even have the first goal. I had my goal, but only a section of it, and then this game would go to overtime, and we would come on down, and pass, it does not get in, but we keep it in by Latang. Latang to Petrolangelo, and yeah, basically that was that game. We do end up winning, but... Literally, the game just, the guy, well, they were showing that net for, like, 10 minutes, and then the game finally came on out of nowhere, and we did end up winning that game in overtime, so we go 5-1 and one in Division 2. We're going up against a, a uh, ha no, not Habs, I don't know why I'm saying that, a Can Canada flag logo, I'm sorry about that, I'm getting all confused because we played, like, 16 people who were Montreal fans with the logo anyway, and we go up 2 nothing in this game. We have a 5-on-3 power play, just trying to cycle the puck. Kane gets a shot, and it goes in off of... Uh, I think that was Petrolangelo, I believe so, it might have been Kessler, I wasn't even paying attention, I'm sorry about that, but anyway, McDavid has the puck now, he's going to swoop in, this game was just a mess by this guy, I don't even understand what happened, but we won that game like 8-0, <clears throat> not really a Division 2 game in my opinion, but I'll take the win, we got 1.1k coins, and now we are 6-1, right about to get to Division 1, pretty happy about that, we ended up winning that game 8 nothing. so... That was a mess by that guy. I don't even know how I scored eight. But we go up against a Hawks fan, just trying to get to Division One, trying to cycle the puck. We make a nice little move right there. No one was open. We go backhand. I think Seabrook, if that was Seabrook, was in the net randomly. I don't even know why. I don't know if that caused any uh, problems for his goalie not making the save, but it was backhand anyway. And he makes a nice little goal right there to tie the game early stages of the second period to make it a 1-1 game. I don't know who scored that, but Kessler got the assist. And he makes a nice little move right there. Bad defense on my part to make it a 2-1 game for him. End stages of the second. Hudler gets the goal there. Probably the team of the week, Hudler, who has 91 skating. So there's that. Patrick Kane, a nice little move, and he just snipes it a few seconds later after he made it 2-2. 2-1, I should say. Nice little play right there to keep the puck. Burry, nice little move right there. Goes backhand, scores. 
backhand goal number 737 out of the Deacastry to make it a 3-2 lead for us. We're going to throw the puck up to Patrick Kane. Kane's going to use his skill and speed to cut by one, two, three, and takes a slap shot and pops the water bottle down. That was a pretty sick play by Patrick Kane and is a 4-2 lead for us. And look at that amazing play by our goalie, and uh, I don't even know what to say. Again, obviously not the goalie's actual fault. That was my fault for throwing it out. I don't know what I was doing, nor do I know what my defense were doing by not being there or picking that up. But anyway, we still get the win there. So as bad of a play that as that was, we still managed to get a win. And hey, we're in Division 1 now with a big win. 22 shots to 15. If you guys know this video, please leave a like. And I'll be explaining just the whole future of my channel, why this year was so less videos whatever you want to go with but i will be explaining everything on with my channel and the future of my channel and just the future or the the current stages of my channel what's going to happen for nhl 15 16 and other games like that if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and i will see you guys next time